Hey folks, my name is Greg Yoz and this is a little video I'm making for threadlining.com. Uh, go check it out if you haven't already. Um, and also our YouTube channel, uh, Threadlining. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take the bail off of a Daiwa 500C. And if, you'll, uh, if you're familiar with this style of fishing, you really don't want to to a bail to get in your way. They tend to cause uh, loops and, and uh, backlashes in uh, what is otherwise a really simple system in a, uh, uh, a spinning reel. And so I'm going to go ahead and take this one off and these, these little 500C's are available on eBay at least until this sport takes off or this style of fishing takes off. I would get a couple. I'm probably going to get another one. Um, but they're cheap and they work great uh, for thread lining uh, for this extreme ultralight fishing because uh, for me I have little fat fingers and uh, compared to my uh, Sedona for example you can see that uh, this arm here that connects to my uh, ultralight rod which is essentially a fly rod uh, is much shorter so I can I can control that line all the way around the spool whereas in my Sedona I kept sort of dropping the line um, because it would kind of come around this side and I'd have to catch it uh, and I just didn't have as much control so this one will probably soon be up for sale for those guys that uh, have longer fingers than me so anyway let's get to the uh, cutting here's some of the tools I'm going to be using um, See, we've got a Dremel, got a screwdriver. I'm probably not going to take the bail off. Uh, I took it off um, already with this screw and this uh, base uh, down here, and I kind of messed up the spring in there. It's kind of loose now, and I wish I hadn't have done that. Um, I'll probably end up just putting some Zappa Gap or something in here to keep this from spinning because um, it's still you can see kind of loose uh, so I'm just gonna leave it on and cut uh, the bale off uh, at the roller and then again uh, down here uh, I can't remember exactly if I had to pull this off so we'll, we'll kind of go through that uh, together also I've got my Dremel um, my last reel with the Sedona I actually just cut it off with my angle cutters um, I made for a little bit more of a Sand, sanding job. Um, these are just what I need here for emergency purposes. I'm going to be using this cutting wheel and so glasses and this is some uh, ultra fine sandpaper to uh, finish up um, where we cut the, the bale off uh, on the roller make it real smooth because that'll, that'll cut your line. Uh, so let's get going. Okay I hope you guys can see this I'll try to make sure that I'm in the the uh, the camera. So this is just a Dremel cut off wheel. Got to be a little careful. Um, with my Sedona, I actually cut off. Uh, I got a little too close to the rest of the uh, the reel. You don't want to nick that roller either. This is why you wear your safety glasses. Okay. That's hot. So you can see it's off now. I kind of got into the roller a little bit too much. Um, I'll take care of that with a buffing wheel. Then I think the easiest way to do this down here is to take this piece off. Save your screw. And really all you have to do is just cut this little this little thing off here just, 
just anywhere. It might work even better. <laughs> Honestly, I'm thinking I might have shivved in that up here too. But I haven't done a whole lot of these, so. Okay, now you're you're gonna put this back on here. And luckily this 500 c doesn't doesn't swivel down here, which is nice. So you don't have to put an extra washer in there. Uh, my Sedona, you can see it rotates down here, and uh, you have to put a washer in there to keep that from rotating. Um, I actually used epoxy um, because it was before I read that chapter in uh, Piscatorial Absurdities, which will soon hopefully be available, more available for everybody. But Joe talks in there about taking that off. So anyway. Uh, there is the debailed uh, Daiwa 500C, and then I'll show you how I'm going to polish this up here in a second. Okay, so um, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, polish this up a little bit. Um, what I did, I put on this little, this little metal uh, wire brush um, just to take off the, the really sharp nicks on your glasses because this can also throw some metal and I just hit this really lightly just to kind of take the take that first hard edge off All right. I still got a little edge on it I'm going to try a little bit uh, stiff rubber wheel. Okay, this is a sand roller. Just going to barely hit that. I think that I pretty much got it. Now is when you want to take some sandpaper and you really want to get get it wet. I'm going to go do that real quick. I'm going to start with this. It's pretty much of a uh, I think it's probably around 600 grit. It may not even be enough right now. Alright. I'm going to switch to a little bit finer grit sandpaper. This is like 7 million grit. You can kind of see. I don't know if that's going to show up in the camera there. Uh, no, it's kind of blurry. But it's coming. It's coming. I'm just going to take my word for it. I don't have it on macro view. Alright. So, I've got this thing pretty well polished up. Uh, or sanded. I'm not feeling anything too rough. Maybe a couple little micro burrs in there and I'm trying to get those out. And it's just an all, it's a feel thing. Kind of like what I'm feeling there. Like I said, I'm going to leave this thing turned around. Sort of this direction. I don't know if you can see that. But none of the part that I actually filed off is actually going to be touching the line as it comes onto the roller. And I think as a final step, one thing I'm going to do on this little polishing wheel is kind of hit it with a little polish. medium speed and 
and there you go that's pretty darn smooth you know I'll probably keep working on it a little bit but that's basically the idea all right so here we got our 500c now without the bail and it's ready to go fishing uh, ready to spool on uh, my uh, my favorite um, backing 12 pound um, backing I don't have it here with me and then a little uh, Stroff 7x and I'm gonna go catch me some white bass uh, tonight on Lake LBJ hope you all enjoyed it come check out uh, the forum at uh, threadlining.com I'll have uh, this video up there it'll also be on our YouTube channel and uh, hope this helped some people I know it kind of helped me because I'm kind of learning too this is brand new to, to a lot of us there's some guys on the forum that have been doing this a long time so uh, pay them heed and ask your questions that's it